Today's podcast is being recorded on October 1st at 6.37 at night. My name is Max. I will be hosting the podcast for today. And well, uh, hope you guys are having a nice day. And welcome to the bench. What do you do, you guys? Welcome back to the bench. Again, my name is Max. Joined today by... Samir. We got Samir back for his second yes, ever sir. episode on the bench. We got Camilo right here. Camilo on his phone, <laughs> as per usual. Yeah. And now we got, last but not least, Shay's, a, you know, the big dog. Shizzy Shay. What does that make me? I mean, I just, I'm here more than nah, you guys. Dude. Right nah, right. Dude. Nah. But, you know, you, you got to get the. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you guys to leave a like. Please subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Please consider telling your neighbor to subscribe, your friend to subscribe, your little brother to subscribe, your. Uncle, to subscribe. <laughs> uh, make sure to drop a follow. The bench underscore cast on Instagram and Twitter. Mostly the Instagram than the Twitter. I don't really use the Twitter yet because uh, I don't know who wants to hear me on Twitter. Yeah, follow our MySpace yeah. as well. Twitter's yeah, we dangerous. have a MySpace. MySpace.com. <laughs> <laughs> We're slash. not going to step into Twitter yet. Nah, it's, especially <laughs> with me, my, my opinions. Uh, I should, uh, should apologize to Mello. Uh, he was on the JJ Reddick podcast and he was like trying to explain what happened with all of his like times you guys should go watch it it's a pretty good interview uh it came out soon i, I have to watch it i yeah. think it came out like pretty recent i, I think either it might have been today or yesterday it came out uh what but are you uh, talking about uh, it's, his, just a, it's a podcast just yeah his career because him and him and jj reddick were actually part of the same graduating class so they actually had like their careers have been pretty entwined uh so they had some good conversation even though jj reddick spent four years in college while um uh carmelo he, he spent one year one in college. Year, one year. Yeah, he only spent one year in college. Uh, so they weren't in the same draft class, but they're in the same graduating class. So they were in the same uh, All American game and the same McDonald's. Sorry, the McDonald's game, and they were both in the same Jordan game. And whatever. It was a really good podcast, and he he was trying to tell everyone like, "Damn, dog, I had a hundred different teammates, and everyone thinks it's my fault the Knicks didn't win." <laughs> it's like, damn, <laughs> yeah, that's man. pretty crazy. Yeah. He said he had over 100 teammates, three managers, three three vice presidents, four coaches. Yeah, that was a mess. Like, yeah, it was bro. pretty bad. I look, it's a lot of hate for no reason. I don't know. It's no he reason. Was not though. for no reason. But he, he made a pretty a good argument. Hog, most of his career. I don't know. And he was talking about how he was willing to sacrifice. I don't know. You guys should go watch it. It was pretty good. I um, actually have something here by the JJ Reddick podcast. But let's start it off. NBA players have selected Vince Carter as a 2019-2020 NBA sportsmanship uh, well award recipient well yeah everybody loves him as a as a teammate uh people love him as a basketball player uh all all young players he's played with love him insanity like, will be missed he will be it was yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty season. cool how they still give him something like an award at the end of his career you know yeah, it's kind of cool. flowers yeah they didn't give him the honorary all-star that uh wade and and uh and Dirk got oh, uh, remember yeah. i mean come on <laughs> my boy Wade has a, had a whole tour come I, on I wonder if they would have given Vince Carter the nod if uh, if he had won a chip yeah that, I feel like that would have changed a lot to be you honest you know this like, is kind of this probably has nothing to do with it, but every time Paul Pierce talks like some, some bullshit everybody's like you didn't get the same love D-Way got you you saw the, you saw the Draymond say, like, yeah. that's the only time everyone true. like is on Draymond's side when yeah, he said bro. that everyone was he's on such Draymond's a side. hater I don't know why yeah. and like Paul Pierce was really fucking good and he was a champion yes, like, that's what's he so was, he was really funny. good that makes it funnier he's like, tarnished his legacy after he he retired like it's yeah, crazy just it's not, com yeah. commentating pretty yeah, good. just by commentating even in his final two seasons with the Clippers it was always like where's Paul oh he's still playing no, he like, made a game winner on the Clippers it was pretty cool no, one game Wiz winner Wizards, sure. right? it was a bank he shot was right? I'm Wiz saying but he was, was it even Wizards. a playoff game it was, it was a playoff was, game yeah the was, Wizards against uh, Toronto I think mm -hmm. He, oh, he called okay. yeah he was with the wizards like, I I him. Him. oh I'll damn i forgot Bay. about that wizard year right, yeah i called Bay. Yeah. no he didn't i bet you he didn't <laughs> boy it was hype whatever uh lamella ball said he's not looking to change his shooting form uh ball sorry this is from kevin o'connor he says his ball has a low wild release and perhaps the most inconsistent full work you've ever seen he's rarely balanced He's led to low shooting percentages in all levels that he's played it needs to change kevin o'connor says uh lamella ball um, someone on some other podcast that I listened to, I think it was through the wire, shout out through the wire. But, uh, they said that, man, if I'm a player and someone, someone I don't know, comes up to me and just goes, 
hey, are you going to change your shooting form? I'd be like, no, what yeah, the fuck? Like, I I've been, this is the way I've been shooting my whole life. But I would say the same I'm thing. I'm sure once he gets in front of an NBA coach, an NBA trainer. He's going to change it. Yeah, yeah. He's going to change it. Even his like, brother said the same thing. Uh, <clears throat> Lonzo, he was also like, yeah, I'm not switching my shot. Yeah, I mean, but LaMelo's the best shooter out of all of them. Nah, Leangelo, but it's just hard is to actually see. the best shooter out of all of them. But I feel like LaMelo's jump shot is going to be way more easier to improve than Lonzo's. So. They have, yeah. well, they're not going to have a problem. Definitely, like, yeah. He might, he might be the best shooter, but no one said he's a good shooter. He he did the thing where he pointed at the half court and then they got yeah, all famous yeah. for that. But honestly, he had bad shooting percentages in every level he's played. And Do you know him? Were they that bad? No, nah, I don't think they were terrible, but they weren't like... No, like they're like not in the 40s. They're like in the 30, 30, 30, 31. Like on some Jimmy Butler shot stuff. Like it he might go in. He takes some shots that no rookie's going to take. Yeah, like he's you, not going to be able to take those shots. But that's good though. Him. I like that. Yeah. And he always takes like his shots sideways. It's weird. I don't know. I'm sure it'll change. We've all seen Lonzo's shot change too. So yes, I'm, sure. I'm not saying he's going to have like a normal jump shot. Like it's always gonna be unique, but no way it just stays like that. Like either the the release point is going to be higher. Like no way. <clears throat> yeah, I think so too. Uh. He also said he doesn't agree with his father that the Warriors aren't the right for, fit for him at the number two spot in the draft. Uh, he says, my old man, he hates, he's my old man. He has his opinions and I have mine. Uh, so that's good. He separated himself from his father early because we all know <laughs> Learned that from Lonzo. <laughs> yeah, Lonzo had some problems with that too. Yeah. I read uh, somewhere where, who has the first pick? The Hornets, right? No, no the, the, the Wolves. The, I the think, Wolves, yeah. oh yeah, the Wolves. I heard the Wolves might go with uh, Lamelo instead of. Yeah, I heard that too. Anthony Edwards. He has a lot of star power, the same way his brother did. Just because Anthony Edwards uh, supposedly doesn't have that drive. Yeah, yeah, Actually, that's weird. He hasn't won in any of his. Yeah, he usually when you're a top high school, like when you're a top prospect in the league, you're gonna win your state championship. Yeah, like I feel like he's just gone to like bad schools and he's really good. I don't know. I mean, if you're really good, you should be winning the state championship. Right? Yeah, if you're like at and that if you level, have good teammates the, against the, Duke and Kentucky. No, well, I was saying college is different because, like, even people like <clears throat> Trey Young and like Donovan Mitchell and John Moran and Ben Simmons, like, they all were playing in bad college teams, but you could still see them peek through. Even Lonzo played on a bad college team. No, yeah, actually, he played I don't for USA, UCLA. Yeah, UCLA. And in UCLA, that's what I was going to say. Even Lonzo shot good in college. He did. So he had promising. It's because it's shorter. Than the real NBA, the who the three point line is shorter than oh the, well, yeah the yeah well I mean same thing for high school for no Lamelo like I'm saying like he he played in all three levels like he played professionally and he was a bad shooter there he played in high school and he was a okay shooter but he sh- it's because he probably threw up tons and tons of shots I don't know uh, I'm sure he's gonna change his shot and I'm happy that he's already separating himself from his father's opinions uh, so hopefully Lamelo can do his own thing the same way his brother did. Did he sign to a shoe brand yet? I don't remember. Yet. I, I don't Puma, know, Puma, but I right? do know that they're both Lonzo and Lamelo are both signed to Rock Nation. So. Hey, oh, <laughs> that's <yeah>. pretty cool. <laughs> the boy Jay Z making moves. <laughs> oh, more news came out about the firing of Doc. That's oh, crazy. it's not going to be in the notes because I because it just happened right before we started recording. Doc actually got signed to the Seventy Sixers, yeah. which uh, is good for him. Hopefully, he can get that team somewhere. Pretty yeah. crazy that Hopefully he got fired. You get ben and Joel Simmons. I mean, I Ben know. Simmons and Joel and be like working together. I don't think it was the best decision for him. I think it's really good for the Sixers. Yeah, yeah. Per- very, exactly very what I was gonna say. Sixers. Exactly what it's I good was for the say. Sixers. I don't know if it's good <clears throat> for Doc's legacy. The, a bounce back. That's not a bounce back hiring for him. Like, yeah, because I could see him taking the Sixers to the next level, which I guess they did make a Eastern Conference Finals. Um, but I don't see. I don't see Doc like I don't see them winning a championship yet. What if Ben would get were to get a shot? Oh well, I mean that changes everything, of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But I mean, how can I know that? Yeah, but, but no, yeah. it's a great it's a great uh, hire for the Sixers just because yeah, for, the, for the development of Embiid and Simmons. Yeah, I feel like he definitely makes players take that next jump, and he depends a lot on his stars, so they're gonna see a lot more time. Uh, maybe Joel Embiid will get that All NBA nod next year because he didn't this year. <laughs> Um, I want to know what it is about Doc. Like, I want players to come out and say it. Like, there has to be an issue. Well, they say like, he's a players always, coach. Yeah, they've always said he's a players coach. Or maybe, coach. He's a really no, good... but I mean in a bad way. You know, like with the 3-1 uh, leads and stuff, there has to, maybe he's exhausting. Like, he has an exhausting personality. Like, he gets maybe, on his players I mean, too much because, like. The thing is, he always has a voice in the locker room. 
It's just it's this big thing. It right. might have been PG thirteen percent's fault, bro. Nah, <laughs> come on, come on. Not just it's, it can't just <laughs> be that. He's P. done it. He's done it so many times. So like, this is what came out. Uh, <clears throat> this was a Steve Ballmer firing. This wasn't the the Clippers front office. This was Steve Ballmer being like, I don't want this guy here anymore. Uh, Ballmer consulted with Frank, a minority sh- minority shareholder, Dennis Wong, consultant Jerry West, and general man- general general manager Michael mm-hmm. Winger. Before a final decision was made, sources said Ballmer called several key players, including Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, to get their opinions. Nothing the players told them, sources said, changed Ballmer's mind about moving front on from Rivers. Ultimately, the decision to part ways with Rivers was Ballmer's. Rivers didn't feel comfortable continuing as a coach without the full support of Ballmer, believing that a solid relationship between the coach and ownership was, a fundamental, to, was fundamental to, to success in the NBA. Ballmer didn't feel entirely convinced that Rivers had a better strategy and approach the next season than a new coach with a new viewpoint. Also, Ballmer went against the front office's wishes and, and, doc, and the doc firing in part because Michael Porter Jr. was playing well after being told he was undraftable in 2018. So because the front office went and told him that Michael Porter Jr. can't be drafted by then, because I'm sure they had to pick ahead. I'm, a lot of teams had to pick ahead that could have picked up MG, MPJ. Oh my. Um, He's like, you guys didn't know what to do back then, so you guys don't know what to do today. And he was just so mad, he just wanted to get rid of Doc. And I guess Doc and him agreed that if they don't see eye to eye, it's better to split apart there. Um, I don't see Doc's... I don't see... I don't I just can't see Doc winning the championship for the Sixers. I can't see that. Right? They but did you, did you see yep. the Sixers winning the championship anyways? No. Exactly. I was so it's feeling... not just about Doc. I mean, you just don't... Like, I believed in the Sixers. Like, if this year, if they would have all stayed healthy, I thought they had a legitimate shot. I didn't think they had no chance. I don't know if they most didn't people have a didn't, chance. Yeah, most people didn't think. Most I don't people think they don't didn't think. have a chance, but I definitely didn't have them as my favorites or near favorites. They're probably I had my them, like, third or fourth team to make the finals coming out the East. I thought they could do, like, what the Heat are doing, like... Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe that. And the Heat, are, and then again, the Lakers win, but like there. go to the finals. Like I, I could course. see them. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I see. Even the Sixers moving on from from Doc in a couple of years, you know. But I mean, time will tell. I thought their their coaching position was really weak, and Doc definitely uh, upgrades that. Well, yeah, so, yeah, it's he's definitely a, a a plus now. It's definitely a a complete An upgrade. He's a complete foil to what um whatever his name was, Brent Brown. Yeah, I was, I suck with names. Uh, yeah, he's a complete follower to Brett Brown because apparently Brett Brown had no presence. I feel the like they were just room. tired of him. Like He was a little girl. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <laughs> the Lakers said they wanted confetti after winning the West. The Heat said nope after winning the East. So this episode isn't only spanning game one. It's also spanning game six uh, from the Heat moving on. Uh, game six, right? Yeah, they're up 3-1, three, 3-2. Three, yep, game six. Uh the Heat said no after winning the East. The first comment in the Reddit, uh, like little comment section thing, was sources say that the Miami Heat are not sleeping in the hotel. They're <laughs> sleeping nearby on concrete <laughs> in a warehouse. They were offered beds, but they said they didn't deserve it yet. I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the, everybody's just looking at the Heat thinking that they're hard, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's all Jimmy Butler. It was really weird. I took it as dogs. I took it as the 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 staff just didn't want to clean up again. <laughs> After the first <laughs> confetti, because what's the confetti for? It's only for the players. Like nobody else. Nah, is nah. It was it. definitely the players, though. I, I believe that. So I'm saying, like, the confetti doesn't really matter. Uh, it's really funny. We got that. Cool I do photo. like that. I, I like that though. We got like, the cool like photo that. of LeBron being prideful. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, being prideful. I don't know. Uh, that's news about Doc Rivers. Doesn't really matter anymore. He was up for the Pelicans and Sixers position. Uh, congrats to him. He got the. You got the Sixers. bag with the Sixers. I don't know if they set the contract out. It's whatever. so funny because everybody knew that he got fired. He's going to get a job so fast. Like yeah. Everybody knew it was bound to happen. Bro, he got fired, what, four or five days ago? Yeah, and then like, within a Maybe week, less. this man just picked up a job. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's awesome that people respect him that much, I guess. Yeah, that's crazy. NBA jersey sales. Number one, we got LeBron. Number two, we got Luka. Wow. Number three, Anthony Davis. Jason Tatum. Giannis fell all the way down to five. <laughs> Stephen Curry not even in the bubble still selling jerseys KD not even playing still selling jerseys yes sir Damian Lillard Kawhi Leonard Jimmy Butler wow yes Rivera, sir wow Kemba Walker Buckets. Kyrie Irving Russ Nikola Jokic That's and then good. John Moran That's good No Zion Uh oh True Anyone but surprised that Luka's that far, uh, high up Nah Yeah I'm surprised I mean, Maybe yeah. people are hop- hopping on the train early but 
I am kind of surprised. I'm surprised. Well, I'm surprised yeah, maybe, Giannis maybe. is that low. That's more surprising to me. I actually thought Curry would be higher. Why is that surprising? He's, like Jason but, Tatum over Curry. But it's because wow. Curry hasn't even played. Though. I know, I, I know, I know. But, but this is still. only from the bubble sales. Yeah. These are only bubble sales. I'd still he got think. bounced in the second round. Why is that so surprising? Giannis? Yeah. But I don't know. He was the MVP. I don't know. So, it's not like he played bad up until he hit, faced the Heat. He got locked up. Yeah, but it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> but congrats to John Moran beating out Zion. Are we getting sick of Zion? I feel like every company in the world gave Zion an endorsement, and now he's not even playing. He's not even playing. Like, he didn't play all that well in the bubble either. So do you think they're all like, damn, no. should have gone with that other kid? In no, 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 not at all. Zion's getting so? fat. Nah, no. not at all. I thought nah, maybe. Nah, Zion is definitely Zion a generational talent. So you just gotta wait out and see. Yeah, and he's go. eating that New Orleans food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, they a lot always of bring that up, dude. A lot of players, players, they always bring that up. Someone said that uh, he was carrying around 100 extra pounds for no reason. <laughs> like, huh. Oh, we got to get cool. on that LeBron diet. Yeah, I don't know. Do you, I mean, players usually take like three years to fall into their adult bodies, you know? Especially yeah, like those true. one and done guys. They usually take around three years to actually develop their actual NBA body, unless you're Ben Simmons. Yeah, like Lonzo Ball Murray. right now. Yeah, Ben Simmons came in ready. Yeah, Ben Simmons. Nah, Tatum yeah, too, There's some people too, but Lonzo Ball right now. No? And Tatum too. Tatum looks like he's getting no, Tatum didn't well. come now, in. but he didn't come in like that. He was, nah, he was skinny. He was, I remember he was seeing him. Skinny. I remember seeing him early on, and I was like, like he's built. Who, Lonzo? Nah, no. He, um, he has a big... Uh, Tatum. He has oh, like yeah. a wide frame. Frame, yeah. like his I shoulders so. are wide. Yeah. But Lonzo definitely changed. Lonzo looks skinny fire. as hell. Yeah, yeah. Lonzo, <clears throat> oh, the fire transformation. He was on something for sure, but it got under the radar. So. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, I wouldn't be surprised. No way he got that, that BBB. There's no way. <laughs> nah, I think uh, Lonzo is very. Uh, he has a good work ethic. He, he's like he loves. He's like a gym rat. He loves him and Bi. They love to be in the gym all the time. I can't tell him Bi. I was no, gonna I say, know, but. <laughs> But just, well, I'm sure uh, Bi can push me to the ground if you really want. Bi is a baller, but boy, is the next Kevin Durant. Okay, <laughs> no man, I hate when people say that. Like we've been waiting on that. Like they've they've been saying next Kevin Durant for the past. Like, He's like no. Katie Light. He yeah, definitely yeah. plays like Kevin Durant. Yeah, but Katie won't be as great as Kevin wasn't Durant. Wasn't KD but... an MVP in his fourth or fifth year? Like what happened? Wasn't KD an MVP in his KD fourth or fifth the, year? The he plays like though. I see seventh year. He plays like his like, seventh year. It was like 2014 that he won. Like no. 2015. When did he get drafted? Wasn't it like 2010 2010? or 20? No, 2007. 2000. 2007. 2007. Really? I don't. Know. Oh, okay. But yeah, there's some gym reps. Uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm talking my ass then. Uh oh, I put this in here because a while ago when I was talking about how it was cool that the NBA arenas were opening up to vote, uh, Martin goes, "Oh, do you know if the Raptors are gonna open theirs up?" And I'm like, "Martin, the fuck are you talking about?" Shout out to Martin. That's the, that's Canada. Why would they open it up for U.S. voting? Raptors to open up Scotia Arena to register U.S. voters living in Canada. Yeah, that is pretty dope. Here I am, <laughs> eating my fucking words. Yeah, the way I you cannot that. believe this. <clears throat> cannot believe. I was like, Martin, what are you talking about? Stop being dumb. It's a Canada. Canada wants are. Trump out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bro. I guess we move on. My boy <laughs> Soto threw out the wild shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not get political here. Yeah, please. <laughs> Victor Oladipo looking to move on, move on this offseason, according to sources, and Miles Turner oh, possibly Miles in the Turner? same boat. This is actually an excerpt from a whole article. I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, it was actually about the Celtics. I guess it was uh, an article about the Celtics uh, moving on the next year on from Hayward, uh, maybe possibly trading for Victor Oladipo. Uh, I've seen that straight up trade of Victor Oladipo for Gordon Hayward. Uh, which, I mean, if Victor Oladipo is asking to leave, and I'm pretty sure Gordon Hayward's from the Indiana area, so I guess it'd be cool to see the homeboy come home. Uh, Miles Turner was just there and dropping. It just says, and Miles Turner possibly in the same boat. I don't know what sources are telling her that, but I guess even Miles Turner doesn't believe in the Sabonis Turner backcourt of the future because uh, they will be stepping on each other's toes. Wait, so both of them to the uh, Celtics, or nah, you mean they nah, just nah, both nah. want to get traded? Okay, traded okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah I think the the no, it was like a trade idea. Victor okay. Oladipo for Gordon Hayward, straight up. Okay, okay, that yeah, that I know, yeah. But I thought Miles Turner too. I was like, which would be pretty insane. That would be crazy. But I, I think still, that would help the Celtics for sure. I still think they need a big before they need a Victor Oladipo though. Yeah, f- like him. If it was just Miles Turner in the in the Celtics, oh my god, I would love. Nah, that. trade package deal, Thais. And Hayward for Victor Oladipo they wouldn't and Miles do that. Turner. They Who wouldn't do no? that. Who says no? The, the Pacers. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of hard on the pace. Because they already they have would want better. They already have too many wings. Yeah. What are they? What are they gonna do with another wing? Yeah, but come on. What hey, about yeah, Turner hey. to the Mavs? That'd be pretty. Cool. I would like that. Oof. Porzingis and, and Turner. I like. And then I like they pick that. up Dragic and make us cry. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean. Kyrie yeah, Irving speaks on the coaching crazy. situation. I don't really see us having a quote head quote, unquote coach. KD could be a head coach. I could be a head coach some days. KD adds. Jacques Vaughn could be the head coach, could do it one day. It's a collaborative effort. Isn't Steve Nash in there? No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's the coach. Steve supposed Nash to be. Is the he's supposed to be the coach. coach. I guess their point is that they don't they don't want to have a head coach. Let's have a moment of silence for Steve Nash. This yeah. is real. They just want so advice. hard. Like Yo. headaches. I feel like that's either disrespectful. <laughs> oh, of course. Or I think like whether he meant it or not. This is yeah. on Katie's Come podcast. On, dude. Disrespectful. This is on Katie's podcast. I'm pretty sure it's the first episode. Uh, it was at minute 51, second 35. Uh, I, he's starting a new podcast. I don't know if you guys saw yeah, it. Katie? ETC, I didn't, et cetera. Yeah, I didn't see oh, the I'm whole episode, that. but I did see a snippet of him Such and Kyrie. Such a dope name. I wish I had that. Name. Wait, ET, what's it called? We'll called The Bench. This is called, it's called et cetera, but it's just ETC. No, I'll take the bench. Give me the bench. You take the bench? I'll take the bench. I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, that's this, this already is planting the seeds of disruption in the season. And then and we're going to, I'm sure this quote is going to come back. It's going to, Oh, right? easily. Yeah, it has to. It has to. Not come back a good start. It. It's not a good start at all. I would be sweating already if I'm seeing yeah, that. Yeah, bro. Like, just because, like, I had a birdie stocking up. And another head thing, head another head thing coach. Nash had brought up how KD is going to play the point sometimes. I feel like that's all KD. Like, KD wants to do that. Like, they're going to control Nash so bad. I think that's why they, like, it was all them. KD and Kyrie, like, they're the reason why Nash is the head coach. And they're just going to control, no, like, they for sure they're going to be the coach. Just yeah, like you're saying could, right there, they're yeah, going to be the coach. It could either go really well or super bad. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like Dan Tony's going to join them, though. Oh, like, like assistant, like on the bench. Yeah. Oh, that would be dope, honestly. Yeah, D'Antoni was that would be funny. To was the honest. Steve Nash's coach in 2007 when they ran that offense? Is this, but that would be so weird. Like is it, Nash yeah, the head coach, and yeah. then D'Antoni, like it's like Mike D'Antoni would have a heart attack. He's like 70 years old, having to tell these kids to please pay attention to me and stop dribbling the ball for half the possession, please. <laughs> nah, I think he. Did you just dealt shot? with James Harden doing it for 80 percent of the game? Yeah, exactly. I mean. See, How far did that get them? I would have liked D'Antoni as the Conference head Finals. coach of the, of the Nets. No, yeah. they didn't win. Last year. Oh, last year. Yes. The Warriors? Yeah, but they didn't. They lose in five? No, they lost, they lost in, in seven. seven. Seven? Yeah, they went to game oh, seven really? and lost. That's when Probably. James Harden didn't show up. Damn. Yeah, they didn't lose in five. They lost in seven. This ain't my podcast. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Uh, no, nah, I don't see D'Antoni submitting to the, to the bench. I mean... Yeah. For the for the Clippers job, there's um Sam Cassell, and they have um they got Tyron Lue. Tyron Lue on the bench. I expect one of those two to be promoted. I don't like that though. That's so why they need yeah. someone big. It is boring. Do they need someone big? <laughs> I mean, what big? Eric Spoelstra isn't t- isn't leaving the Heat anytime soon. <laughs> That's the only big dog. I think at this point, Eric Spoelstra is the best coach in the league, right? Nah, there's Greg. Well, in terms of hype and all that, like he's he's the guy now. Are you sure? It's between Greg, Stevens, and... Well, Greg will Swell. always be the but best we, to me. But, but he but just beat Stevens in, in five and six. No, yeah, with give it to Eric. Give with, it to Eric. With more talent. Yeah, he's, yeah, exactly. I guess you're right. What about Nick Nurse? Nah, chill. <laughs> yeah, Eric Spolstra is... The best I don't know if, I'm, if, my, if my bias is showing. Nah, nah, Spolstra, Spolstra. I think it's both. I think at this point, Greg is... Well, Greg, I mean, Greg is Greg. Like, he's always going to be... But legendary, yeah, yeah. But uh, but that's in terms of status and stuff. But yeah, I think Greg's Eric's name Spolstra, is bigger than his play right now. How Eric Spoelstra's teams always play hard. They've been, yeah, um, they've always been pretty good. But at you, <clears throat> yeah, dude. no, I, I, I think Spoelstra. If he's not first, he's second. I think he's really up there in the league right now. For Top me. three for sure. Top three for sure. Speaking on the Heat, Udonis has him on Jimmy Butler. You put him in a cage with a bunch of cats, he's gonna growl. He's talking about you, cat. You put him in a kennel with a bunch of dogs. He's going to be right at home. Is this a shot? Oh, he said, Anthony cat. Yeah. he said cat. Is this a shot at Carl Anthony Towns? <laughs> oh, man. Do we think UD is this clever? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, I saw that a while ago. So or a bunch uh, of that's dogs. That's not new. I just never noticed how he said really? cat. <laughs> uh, that, I, I just saw it this week. 
No, but it it doesn't. It's not anything new to like relating to the playoffs. He said that like during the regular season. So. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't see it, but I just thought it was so funny. I'm like, is he? He's definitely referring to you that Wolves so? team. I mean, I saw Andrew Wiggins said that he's happy for Jimmy Butler that he's never had anything against them. It's just other people in the locker room did. Yeah. Which I think oh, again I didn't know the last part. Again, calling out Cat. Maybe Carl Anthony. It Towns. was definitely Cat who he had a problem with, but. Who knows? It could be about cat. But now I don't know. We, I guess he didn't technically force his way out of the Timberwolves, but I guess he just kind of like disagreed with them, and he got sent to the Sixers. And then the Sixers, he tried to lay low, ended up doing the same thing all over again. Then he got to the Heat, fell in love, found his home. But speaking on the topic of people forcing themselves out, Anthony Davis and Andre Godala forced themselves out last year from the Pels and the Grizzlies, respectively. And now they're both playing in the NBA Finals. Do you think that this is going to set precedent for other players to do the same exact thing? Players League, right? I actually saw this today. It said, does the biggest W of the year go to Andrew Iguodala? Because it says he rested almost the entire regular season, promoted his new book, made yeah. an, an early investment in Zoom, got traded to a contender, signed a $30 million extension, and advanced his sixth straight final. Wow. Yeah, man. They what don't a, even well, notice What a year he had, right? Wow. <laughs> Yeah. He won even if they lose. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I, I think it's not that bad for Anthony Davis and Andrew Iguodala. Honestly, it was a win-win. Both those teams are doing fine. Memphis, they have John Morant. They got Justice Winslow for people that they weren't going to use the next year anyway. And then Anthony Davis from the Pelicans, they have so much young talent and they have all those picks. Like, they basically sculpt the Lakers, and the yeah, Lakers are yeah. fine with it. They're in the finals. The Pels are sure win. for the next 10 years. Like, everyone next has five. It's a win-win for everybody in this equation. Absolutely. So it's not like they got nothing back for these no. players anyway, which at this point I feel like I overpaid as a Heat player because the trade was actually for Jay Crowder at this point. But I guess let's move on we to got game six there. of the Eastern Conference Finals where the Heat do take it home. The game I predicted we closed it out. Yes, sir. And we did. We won 125 to 113. I said in the title for last week's episode that I would tell you guys how I felt. And I put hard work beats talent. Every time. And then Miami in seven, but that was before game one happened. Uh, Is this playing. the last time we see Marcus Smart in a uh, Boston jersey? No. You, they can't get rid of him. Yeah, like, they're not a deal. They're but I, I see Danny Angel doing something like that. Like Danny Angel will trade know, anybody. But there are people so. on the on the Celtics subreddit saying that shit. Like, oh, I think we're done with Marcus Smart. Like, why? I heard him to the Warriors. I heard it. Why? I heard from it. From a source. Nah, but, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> nah, but I've been seeing it on Twitter. Now. I would love him on the Warriors. <laughs> I think I like, I really hate like Marcus Smart, right? Yeah, no. I hate I love that I like Marcus him. Smart. I love Marcus Smart. I him on the Heat? Him. Ooh. Bro, he's that would be such crazy. a him on the, That's a dog. <laughs> I know it would be crazy. <laughs> I'd rather him than Oladipo. He's been facing us his whole career too. Oh, rather him than Oladipo? I mean, oh yeah, because sure, of the injuries sure. or just because the injuries and age. He's he's young. He's like twenty three. No, Marcus Smart. I would take Oladipo. Yeah, yeah he's young, Oladipo. dude. Isn't he more like twenty five? He got I drafted think, like I the same time Tatum did. No, like a year earlier. No, fact check. We no. we find definitely earlier Google. than Tatum. No, 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 earlier no than way. Tatum. No, no, way earlier. Marcus than Tatum. Smart, yeah, earlier no, than Tatum. for sure. <laughs> when did he get drafted? Um, no, nah, I don't think he's done with the Celtics. Oh uh, he was like the heart and soul of that team this whole series. They might have been done in four. That's what we used honestly. to say about Isaiah Thomas, and what happened? Fair play. Bro. Yeah, he's twenty six. There you go. What are you fact checking him? Marcus Smart is twenty six years old, not twenty three. Yeah, I mean, I would take Marcus Smart purely because we have to pay him less. And all the depot's like twenty nine. I would take Oladipo as way more upside, bro. <laughs> Oladipo's not 29. <laughs> Oladipo's the same age as Lillard? What if he just threw oh, that number Oladipo. out? It's probably like 26 too. Oladipo's 28. Oh, but, but, okay. But, uh, okay, I was right there. He turned 28 this year, though. Okay, so okay. Kinda, he's so older. Okay, okay. I can't kill you. Damn, he is older than I thought, though. I thought Oladipo yeah. was younger. You know, you know what's crazy to me? Uh... Kyrie, Damian Lillard, Anthony Davis, all the same draft class. Yeah. And Wait, big Kyrie and who? Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard. Not Kyrie. No. No, yeah. Damian Lillard won yeah. Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I think I'm thinking about Drummond. Well, yeah, Drummond, Drummond Davis, Davis, and Kyrie. No, and Damian Lillard were a part of yeah. the same. Drummond oh, feels okay. so young to me. And then Michael K. Gilchrist. And three. Michael K. Gilchrist. Wait. 
Anthony Davis and Damon Lillard in the same draft? Yeah, one and two. Yeah. Who won Rookie of the Year? Uh, Damon. Yeah. Right. It, uh, Davis. Are was, you sure? Wasn't Davis injured? Might have been. How old no. Is, is Damon like no. 29? No, no. 30? Yeah. Damon yeah. Lillard? Not in yeah. the same. Yeah. I don't think they were in the same How draft. How old is he, class. like 29? Probably like 26, 27. Okay, okay. Well, I know for sure Davis and Drummond were in the same draft class. Okay, and that's Davis still crazy Drummond? to me, too. <laughs> I feel like Drummond's like three. <laughs> Drummond's a monster. He's very Drummond's underrated. Drummond's nowhere to be he's found. He's one of the most on underrated players Cavs. in the league just because he doesn't get enough wins. I don't know if he's underrated. Like, like nobody. He's very we gotta well see. Rated. He needs to be in a, in a better position. He's a fringe all star. If he was in a better system, like trust me, his numbers and see. everything would just be not his defensive uh, rebounds, but his uh, offensive. His numbers, numbers are crazy. Though. His, the, his, his rebounds on the Cavs right now. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, I mean that trade that he made with Detroit literally got him nowhere. I don't know why he did that. I mean, he's a. What, I mean, yeah, it wasn't his decision. He's a yeah, fringe all star, like it's just what he is. Fantasy, yeah. he's. And it, I don't know. I, I he's can see been him. an all star. I can see him as a a really good uh third player. I feel like it's because he's not a very big offensive threat. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. That's all he's missing. And I guess he's not a good defender. I remember he was a good defender. He was like Andre Tony. Drummond. Mm-hmm. He's an okay defender. I don't think he's crazy. He was like top five in blocks. No. So was yeah, but uh, so was Whiteside. Whiteside's Brooke Lopez. Like a... So was Brooke Lopez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brooke, like, Brooke Lopez didn't make second team all defense. I don't know. I barely watched Drummond play, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not out here turning on for Detroit games <laughs> no. or or Cleveland years, Cleveland Cleveland years games. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> man. Bam out of bio. Thirty-two points, fourteen rebounds, five assists, one steal, eleven what of fifteen beast. shooting. Closeout game, baby. Last After player since LeBron. After he told the game before, game five, that he put that whole game on him, remember? Uh, he took full credit for that game. And he came yeah. out and had a monster game. Yeah. Jay Crowder, one of five from three. Jesus Christ. Duncan Robinson, five of seven. Warren Drogic, four of 11 from the field. Not great. Tyler Harrow doing his thing, eight of 13 from the field. Iggy coming out for a perfect five of five. <clears throat> perfect four of four from three. 15 <clears throat> points. That coming was- back. Turning the clock. That was like the only game we saw Iggy hit a three. And yeah. then he just kept hitting. It was crazy. I'm happy, yeah, though. Yeah, he's hit like three straight. Max Kellman was right. right. He's been so, like, dormant. Yeah. He's like, just been out there for defense. He's like D-double-J at that Yeah, that's point. all they needed him for. <clears throat> no, nah, I mean, I'd love to see him hit the... We could use him as a three. Yeah, we need him to slow down LeBron. That's all we need him for. If you could put up four threes a game, I don't even care if you make them. Oh, my God. Can you just put up four threes? Like, don't I don't care if you make them. If you can make one. If you can make one. Derrick Jones Jr.? No, no, Andre Iguodala. Oh, yeah. oh my God, Derrick Jones Jr. Has he played? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, 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 he got yeah. a minutes last year. Smacked. Too. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. They just threw him out there. Uh, Jalen Brown came out with twenty six. Tatum with twenty four. Marcus with twenty. Kemba Walker with twenty. Gordon Hayward, uh, five of twelve for twelve. Uh, they look really disappointed in their post game, and I I felt so bad that they make them do their interviews. Yeah, right. That, that's never like. Yeah, Tatum, I never agreed with that. Tatum looks so disappointed. I think they they conceded. They were just like, yeah, they were the better team. You know, it's pretty disappointing. Yeah, blah, blah, what, what else can they say? Yeah, right. But they, they just yeah. had to sit there and take it. It was really sad. But uh, you know, they're obviously they're all super young, right? I would be annoyed as a player just having to sit down, like LeBron, press conference, and yeah. just talk <clears throat> about my loss to get all these reporters that are asking me these dumbass questions. Yeah, yes. after you just played a game. Yeah, your emotions are all over the place for sure. Yeah, um, but obviously composed. the Celtics are really young. They're gonna come back. That's why you can't be worried about them. Tatum's got a chip in him for sure. Like that I mean, duel, him and Jalen Brown is gonna be. And so the fun thing to about watch. the thing about Jason Tatum is like everybody keeps saying that he's like their go-to guy, which I know he will be in the future. But low key, Jalen Brown always has like, like. I don't know. It feels yeah, like he cool plays. Head. Yeah, he feels. It feels like he plays better than him sometimes. Like he, he, like the game comes more easier to him, and he's oh, his numbers are always like there. Like, like you would look at him, and you don't think he, he he's scoring that much. You know, like right. So like, uh, there's Jaylen games was hitting some clutch ass. Yeah, exactly. Threes. He made a lot of threes. Like there's just some games that I notice, and I'm like, damn, this this nigga had this many points. I had no idea. You know. Yeah, I feel like he's always like the like the one behind him. You know, like yeah, he's, he's in the dark. He's yeah, in the like shadows. yeah, like he's getting so many easy twos, like just breaking our zone. It's Batman. Imagine going back and forth because they were killing our zone. Yeah, like our zone. They finally figured it out. 
Yeah. And Jalen Brown was getting these easy ass twos under the rim. It's yeah. making me so hot. But then we were on the other side getting everything we wanted too. So I, I was like, whatever. But I mean, he's his running mate. Like, what's he supposed to do? Like, I actually feel the opposite. How you said Jalen Brown scores easy and stuff. I feel like it's the opposite. Like, he, I think I said it before. He has tunnel vision. Like, he forces a lot of shots. Who, J- uh, Jalen Brown. Brown. And Jason Tatum. Like, Jason Tatum sometimes. What was the game where he scored, like, Zero points in the first half. Yo, we had him on. That lock. was like three of the games. You guys had him on was, lock, but yeah. also he wasn't even look. He wasn't as assertive. Like I feel like it's the opposite. Tatum could be more assertive sometimes. He had a. He had a no, like, that's what I'm saying. He's gonna be their go-to guy in the future. But like when you notice, like you just watch some games, you don't yeah. even notice Jalen Brown being as good as oh, he is. No, you know? Oh, okay, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, I agree. I agree 100. percent So like yeah. uh, he was their dark quiet. horse for yeah. sure. He was gets a quiet 20 points. Yeah, like like I don't know where. Yeah, bam. He's just doing so much for them throughout the game. So I feel like he's like, I don't know. I feel like as a heart and soul, I feel like he's a bigger piece to them. I don't know if he's a bigger piece. I think Jason Tatum can be a top five player one day. Yeah. No, uh, for Jaylen sure. Doesn't have Offensively, to. this man. Yeah, he's, he's getting better too. Way too. And he's, defensively think, too. J- yeah. Jason Tatum yeah. plays some defense. I think Jalen Brown sacrifices defense. a lot though to let he Jason does, Tatum. He does. To let Jason Tatum he could shine. Be, he could be like a franchise player in my opinion. Like Jason, uh, Jalen Brown, in he my could opinion, be. he could. Uh, for a lot of teams out there, like, like the Hornets. Cavaliers, Hornets, like he would be their French Detroit Pistons. Yeah, he would. They would invest everything they have. I don't know. It. I guess I look out for him more is just because I noticed the little things about Not the game sure. when I watch it. So like I can I see how much more he's doing Definitely. for the team than just scoring. You know, so yeah. it's pretty good. Man. Does anybody want to try and rip this out for me? Shout out to him because it's really difficult. While I bring up the game real quick. Uh, D we're gonna, game. We're gonna have another trivia game, guys. I hope you guys are excited. It's gonna be ten questions. You Woo! guys can. You guys can all answer. Uh, so I hope you guys are going to have fun. Did you get it? It's just a sticker. Yep. It's just a sticker. Let me at least take my board. What color you want? It don't matter. I'm going to be the winner. I'll give you blue. Did you say I'm a gonna? I'm a gonna be the winner. I'm a gonna be a. I'm a gonna be a shooter. Alrighty. You can just write on the plastic. Yeah. Wow. I think that's what I. No, yeah, we, we that's what we've been doing. Yeah, we did, right? But I was yeah. just sick of it. I'm just going to, like, grab it. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey! Wow. It's our daily... Uh, We're in the playoffs, baby. Oh, these are marshmallows. The Marlins are in the playoffs. I only watch basketball. Yeah, me too. There you go, Jojo. Nobody here watches football? Well, you I, watch, I don't watch it like that. I put it on. FSU. The Dolphins won this week. Miami has had a very oh, good week. Won? I haven't even... Very good sports week. Question number Cox. one. Which NBA player has, eject, has been ejected the most? We've got the Marcus Cousins, Rasheed Wallace, Reggie Miller, and Ron Artest. This is a tough question. No, it's not. This should be easy, I think. Most in one season or most all time? I'm pretty sure it's just most all time. Okay, uh, um, I got my... Well, let me just wait. Let me bring up the answers. Uh, Max, you should keep score. We no, all you gotta keep, our own keep your own score. I don't want to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm missing a question. Uh... Damn. Uh, which NBA player has been ejected the most? Demarcus Cousins, Reggie Miller, Ron Artest, or Rashid Wallace? What do you guys got? Oh, I picked uh, Ron Artest. You said Ron Artest. What did you nah, What did you still, think it was? Still, still, still. Yeah, I think Rashid, 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 Rashid Wallace. I thought, I thought it was technicals for for a second, but you same put thing. Rashid Wallace. <laughs> Rasheed. <laughs> Rasheed. It is Hairline. Rasheed Wallace. Is. Oh, thank God. I was just thinking I was about, about change my answer. I was yeah, just that thinking boy about. Said, don't lie. Nah, this man, this man has his name changed. I was like, how many eje- or like technical ejections do you need for you to change your name to Metal World Peace? Wow, oh my God. Him. All right, what's Did my marshmallow? His name after? It was like something with a panda. He's like, nah, I was like, we'll be free. All right, question number two. We have, which NBA player has taken the most shots? We have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Number one is Wo- not there. I know, I moved it up. You already did it. No, I'm saying one. like, isn't the answer Kobe Bryant? I was thinking no, the same thing. It's just but between nah. these four players. Okay, Which NBA right. player has taken the most shots? Yeah. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, yeah, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, right. or Shaquille O'Neal? 
Oh, my uh, marker. Yeah. Oh man, whatever. Uh, which NBA player is taking the most shots? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, or Shaquille O'Neal? What you got, Camilla? Lou Alcindor. You got Lou Alcindor. My name is Shaquille O'Neal. No. You have Kareem, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and you have. I have Kareem as well. It is Kareem. Kareem. Leading the league in scoring, I guess means you have to take the most shots. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, damn, if he if he wasn't the answer, that would be kind of sad. <laughs> you guys have two points. I got one. Keep counting your points. Oh. It makes sense, guys. LeBron's about to pass that though. Shit, you're so competitive. You think LeBron's gonna pass? <laughs> Wait, no for way. most points ever, he might. I think he needs to. He could, but he nah, would. Definitely... He would need to. He would need a lot in his favor. Like he nah. would need yeah. to stay healthy. He just yeah. needs to average like twenty points for the next five seasons. That's and, that's and asking a lot. That's of, asking uh, a lot. Of a thirty-nine year old man. That's asking a lot. <laughs> You guys are disrespectful. He, he could. LeBron oh, James. 30, a, a 39 year old LeBron James. Yeah, his sister's going to go those. down and his sister's going to go up. Like, All right, but we're talking about points. Yeah, he's going to be averaging like 21 with like 14 assists. You still think whoever is 20 at 39 years old? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Definitely. It's LeBron James. I think he might. He can't, yeah. Like, I think it'll be might, close. Like, I can see him averaging seven. I can see it. I, I can just see him being a Tom Brady. We were talking about this yesterday. A post monster, just yeah. like. Having like su- such a great post of turns into Shaquille O'Neal. I think he might retire before he gets to that. Like to yeah, that. I don't think he's ever gonna be like a twenty. Like he's gonna he's gonna retire at the Bro, top. He's gonna call Ron it is early, the greatest you know? athlete ever. He's gonna play. We'll like see. 42. But yeah, I, I think, think he's so. gonna call. He's gonna die on like right, he's not gonna get, He's not gonna go to mellow status. Like he's, he's, he's older he's than Russell. He's never gonna be the fourth best player on a team. Never. Let's get to the next question so I can catch up. Question. Question number three: Which NBA player has missed the most shots in a single game? We got MJ. <laughs> Stephen Curry, LeBron James, and Kobe oh, Bean wait, Bryant. Wait, wait. Which NBA player has missed the most shots in a single game? Michael Jordan, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, or uh, Kobe Bean Bryant? Yeah, yeah, bro. You gonna use your I'm IQ? Use my you said, heart. Shazer? Yeah, I'm gonna try to just see. Take All right, the best no guess. IQ What'd on this. Heart. What'd you got? Yeah, I picked the same as Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. but I Kobe's, think it's not. Kobe's, 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 Kobe's number like twenty-four. Not. Bryant, it is Kobe. Yes, oh, sir. Okay. I thought this was like Bryant. a trick question. Next up, we have... Curry in the finals. Question number four. Who... Sorry, which NBA player has missed the most three-pointers in a season? Missed the most three-pointers in a season. We have Stephen Curry, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Larry Bird. James Harden, Steph Curry, Russ, Larry Bird. Most missed missed three-pointers in a season. This feels like a trick question. (laughs) Nah, I think this is... I don't know, maybe I'm Who you got, Samir? Harden. You got James Harden, Camillo. I it's feel definitely like it's the obvious. beard. You got James Harden as well. Definitely and you? I put Wes Brick. Oh my God! Nah, if he t- dude, he get released. No way. It is James Harden. Oh, okay. <laughs> you release Russell Westbrook? Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, dude, dude he should not be shooting shooter. that many. He's threes. a horrible shooter, man. I got four points, guys. Well, which NBA player has a record oh, for the most three pointers in a season? You're perfect so far. Yeah. Same. Oh. It says, okay. which NBA player holds the record for most points scored in an All-Star game? Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you want to host? <laughs> LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, and Will Chamberlain. A record for most points in an All-Star game. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, or Will Chamberlain? I wonder when this thing was made, when this test was made. I have a link in the description, in by one. the way. LeBron James, um, AD, KD, or Wilt Chamberlain? Who do you got, Shay? I'm going to just go with Kevin Durant. You got KD? I got KD. You got like, KD? I got the bro. You got the brow. It is the brow. No. I had a feeling it was him, but I don't remember which year it was. I don't it remember. It was last recent, game. Recent, right? Yeah, yeah, it was the most recent one. He broke the record. Uh, How old was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar when he retired? This one was a tough one. 41, 42, 43, or 44? Damn, it's is LeBron gonna have to be forty two to finish with the most points ever? No, nah, he'll get it sooner. Think so? I think so. Okay. Forty three. It's because he's 41, shooting threes. He doesn't have to just be 42. shooting the hook. I guess. Damn, LeBron James is still in the league because he's a shooter. Mm-hmm. Damn. Reporters from two thousand ten are I wanna see that. Are Yo, rolling imagine, in their graves. Imagine right LeBron now. wins a ring Le- with Bronny. That would be crazy. LeBron becomes a three with point Bronny's? specialist with Bronny. Yikes! Talk about talk about stretching like 
uh, <laughs> a theory out. Like, this man's talking <laughs> about winning a chip with your own son. <laughs> Not yeah. even, like, winning it with somebody else it's in the It's, like, league. half a decade out. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. What you got, Camilo? You gonna stay perfect? I got 42. 42. We all got different answers, so that's good. Got I put 43 because it's an odd number. It is 42. Camilo has stayed perfect. I was gonna. Camilo did his I'm research. Tripping. It's okay, guys. My mind is somewhere else. And if you know, you know. Question number seven. We know. Uh, which NBA player holds the record for most assists in a game? Scott, Sty- Scott Skiles, John Stockton, Jason Kidd, or Steve Nash? Most assists in a game. Stockton, Kid, Nash, Skiles. Who's it going to be? Soto, do you stay perfect? Yes, of course. Okay, who is it? It's Scott Skiles, and I think he had like 32. It was 25. It was like 26 or something. I think. Yeah. Scott. yeah. No, Scott I think Skiles. it was 30. You think it was 30? Was yeah, it really it was, 30? it was a lot, dude. It, it was... I <laughs> chaser put Kid. I put Kid. <laughs> okay. The Kid, you know. The boys. Damn, How many did he have? Like 20-something? I don't know. Kid? I really don't. I don't, I don't know the, what their, their career highs are. Uh... Which NBA, which NBA team won the very first NBA game? Wow, Max, these are way better questions than the last one. I know, I love this. This is this so is unfortunate. Way better quiz, right? This is so unfortunate. The Chicago Stags, the Toronto Huskies, the Boston Celtics, or the New York Knickerbockers? Very unfortunate, guys. Which NBA team won the very first NBA game, Samir? Toronto. Toronto. You got Celtics, Celtics Chaser? Yeah. I got the Knicks. It was the New York Knickerbockers. <laughs> That's why I said so sad. I was going to put it, but then I was like, nah. Oh, Camilla looking to... so smart right now. Camilla eight for eight, smooth. guys. Smooth. Damn. Smooth. What is the, the last meme? question is going to be the one. Uh... The last question is worth 20 points. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what is the most popular <sighs> NBA team fan based? I don't know what the number comes from. Oh, yeah. I already know this. But, you know. Uh, L.A. Lakers, Golden State Warriors, Boston Celtics, or Chicago Bulls? Lakers, Celtics, Warriors, Bulls. What do you got, Samir? L.A. Warriors. No. Lakers. <laughs> Easy. Lakers. I got Unanimous. the Lakers, too. Lakers. You got Celtic? Oh, no. That's Lakers. Man, that is. Lakers. Sorry. Faded. It yeah, it's Lakers. It is the Bulls. It is the Lakers. Um, Question number 10, worth 10 points. This is, uh, yeah, whoever wins this wins. Which NBA Relax. team has the Let's most Hall of Famers? <laughs> Atlanta Hawks, LA Lakers, Golden State Warriors, or Boston Celtics, most Hall of Famers. Celtics, Lakers, Hawks, Warriors. All right. This is the, if whoever gets this right. I mean, this is, yeah, he, he won, but. Basically, no, no, no. This is 10 points. So, like, if you. Oh, hold up. Hold up. If, you get it ra- if you get it right and he gets it wrong, you take the lead. Hold oh, up, hold bro, up. Relax. And if you both get it wrong, I it's take literally the lead. nine for nine. Doesn't matter. Look like points. the Suns out here, bro. Hey, you gotta, okay. you gotta get this uh, one right too. Let's just make it nine points then. Wow. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> oh. Samir. Come on, Samir. Can I still haven't written answer? it down. I'm still thinking. Why oh, are you guys too, thinking? Too. Can we please? Because we're trying to, you know. All right, All right we gotta move on, guys. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Game time. Celtics. You put Celts. Yeah. I got the Lakers. <laughs> Lakers oh. and Lakers. Most it is the Celtics. team with the most Hall of Famers is the Boston Celtics. Yes, sir. Oh, Samir won. Hey, way to beat him. <laughs> Congrats, yes, homie. He wow. beat you, bro. You, wow. you got the, every question Came right back. besides the last one. <laughs> wow. I was about to put the wow, Celtics, Soto. too. This goes back to our joke, a long-running joke that Celtics was in clutch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, damn. Celtics, you almost had it. Hey, I know I'm 9 for 10. All right? You guys are like... Uh, Two for ten. You're not clutch. Samir, the, Samir won today. Clutch gene. Skip Bayless. Like All right, guys. Gene. Yeah, I'll bail them out. <laughs> Let's move on to the most depressing thing that's happened in my 20, uh, almost three years of living. Miami Heat lose game one of the NBA Finals. Max, you're so dramatic, bro. Huge lead up to his finals. It's LeBron James' 50th finals game in his career. That's so crazy. A man. lot of players would hope to play 50 playoff games yeah, in their career. This man's finals crazy. He takes Kareem Abdul Jabbar and ties him for the third most in NBA finals appearances at 10. I'm pretty sure number one is Bill Russell with uh, 12. 13? Nah, thir- it might I be think 12. it's 12, and he only lost one. Uh, his teammate, I forgot his name. Sam uh, Jones? Yeah, Sam Jones. Has 10. Sorry, has 11. Oh, no. So, yeah, he has... Man, this is not important. Sam Jones has 11. 
Bill Russell has 12. Just know he's one of four people. And then the go. other buddy has like 10. One of four people with 10 or more finals appearances. John? Yes, sir. I don't know who John is. Among the players that guarded LeBron James since 2013, Jimmy Butler and Jay Crowder ranked second and third, holding LeBron's field goal percentage to 41 and 42, respectively. Uh, that's still a pretty good split, but, you know, Draymond, G- Draymond Green's the only person who's done it better at 39%. Look at your happy eyes, bro. <laughs> Why are you so happy? <laughs> JJ, Redick, JJ Redick on his podcast said the Heat winning would reaffirm everything I believe in basketball. I believe they can really challenge them, and this could down, go down similar to 04 Pistons. This team reminds me so much of them. That's exactly what I said. Me too. Reminded me of. I think it's exactly what JJ said. Pat Riley reaches the finals <laughs> in six straight decades. The Lakers in, se- in the 70s as a player. The Lakers in the 80s as a coach. The Knicks in the finals as a coach. The Miami Heat uh, as a coach. The Miami Heat as an executive in all six straight decades. He's been to the finals. Uh, obviously a Hall of Famer. That's just a winner, bro. Yeah, that's just that's just a winner, bro. Insane. Yeah, every, literally every literally every level position, whatever you want to call it. That's that's why he can put all his rings on the table. And Even Phil man. Jackson couldn't um the couldn't man. do what he did. That's why he he can talk to the players management. the way he does. You know, like that's why players respect him. Yeah, that's insane numbers. Last year the Lakers were tenth in the West. This last year the Heat were tenth in the East. So it's a huge come up for both teams. Uh, the report came out that there's 5.3 million people watching the lowest rated game in the NBA history. But uh, actually, before I started the show, I refreshed Reddit and someone said that it, that number isn't true. Uh, there was actually preliminary numbers that didn't include the West closed. It was probably closer to eight or nine million. Uh, you guys can do your own research down below. Uh, the record low was in 2007 game one at 7.76 million. Last year's game one was 15.14 million. Uh, just know there was a lot of people watching this game. A lot of Heat fans. A lot of us were hyped, super excited. Yeah, very hyped. Yeah. Um, I didn't expect to go out and win this game, per se. I thought this was going to be a big adjustment game. Yeah, first game is always an adjustment game. See how the flow is and all that. Big well, three players mm-hmm. got injured. Too. And like we've been saying, Spolstra is literally one of the best coaches in the NBA. I'm 100% sure. Yeah. He will come up with a better defensive scheme. And I know the Lakers aren't going to shoot like they were the first game the whole series. That's a good point. They yeah. shot 11 Danny of 18. Danny Green was making threes. Bro, they, threes they, all they, year. of 18 from three. They for shot the first amazing half. for three quarters. It made no sense. They, they I can't fact check this. But fire. I'm sure their three-point percentage has never been over 35% normally. And it was, what, <laughs> 67% or something like that? I think it was 65% yeah. in the first half. That's insane. How can you account for that? Yeah, I don't so. think any team in the league could have beat that Lakers team yesterday. No, especially, no if you're hitting the way you are, you're just going to have a great game regardless. Yeah, they so they were, can't do that for four straight games. Exactly. So. That's, that's what we're banking on. But uh, yeah, so we came out guns blazing. Yeah, we Gordon did. Gordon Dragic playing pretty well. We got hurt. Uh, he got hurt, obviously. We'll talk about that in a little. But we were up 13 points. Oh, you guys were up still when um Dragic got hurt, right? When Dragic got hurt, I think we, I think the momentum was already starting to it shift. It was already though. I think we were already down by eleven once Goron was officially yeah. uh taken out for the last time. Which it's runs, right? Eleven it's isn't that big runs, a deal. Yeah. Right? Eleven isn't that big a deal. Uh but a lot of people are making it seem like without Goron it, it, it would have been the same and yeah. Goron doesn't really make a difference. No, that's twenty three points unaccounted for yeah, right there. Man. And we lost we ended up losing by thirteen. Of course it was a lot of and it was like Jimmy a quarter and a half. Hurt. It was and like then, a quarter and a half of garbage time, but you know. The, yeah, the only bright side of that game was Kendrick, Kendrick Nunn. Nunn. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, did he do something? Yo, if he does he, that he, for the he, rest uh, of the playoffs. Played 18, 19 minutes and he dropped eighteen points. Which mm-hmm. has been his most effective game in the playoffs yet. Yeah. Because he's I played. It's the first time he scored double Horrible. Figures. 11 of 18 from the field, 72%. It was garbage time. Yeah, was, I wasn't even I will, watching. That's what I'm saying. Like, I will when say, did he do but this? Yeah, quarter yeah. and a half of garbage time. But the thing is, as a player, you need any type no, you need of time you can to sure. get your rhythm. So I feel like that was big. Hopefully, because, you know, Goran's going to be injured. We're going to need him to score. He might so, still play. Tyler Hero he played he's well, gonna too, He's going to have right? to play. He's going to have no. to play no, for I'm us. saying, like, uh, Goran Dragic might still play for us. Yeah, but I know Kendrick Nunn is about to get a lot more minutes now, yeah, especially. Yeah, so definitely. he has to uh, be productive. And yesterday default. was, you know, uh, if you can take away anything from yesterday's game, 
as a positive Heat fan was that Kendrick Nunn played well. And they did come back. That was a silver lining. Yeah, we <laughs> cut the lead down Ish. from 32 to 13. <laughs> and then we ended up losing by 18. It was garbage time. Yeah, I don't, for sure. They were easily. only playing one of them, Anthony Davis and LeBron, I'm talking about. They never played them both at the same time. Uh, Any time after, you know, they were up by 32 points. I saw um, somewhere that uh, Tyler Heroes plus and minus was like negative 30 for yeah, the game, which was like here. probably the worst for the whole I mean, I, I, I hate that type of stat. The plus and minus stat, I hate that. Since the NBA sense. started tracking the stats starting in 96-97 season, the worst single plus minus for any player in a finals game was negative 35 by Kobe Bean Bryant in game six of the 2008 finals. Tyler Harrow matched that tonight. Well, he's in, Kobe? Good, he's in good company. Kobe? He's in good, he's, company. He's in good company. I think that's when he lost, right? Against yeah, the Celtics. Yeah, 2008. Yeah. I, see, see, like I said, though, that, that stat, I don't like it because... If you're having a bad night and you're a confident player, you're still gonna keep shooting the ball. Yeah, it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna, yeah. Thing. So oh that God, doesn't. Really he ended up thirty three point three percent, two of six from the field, zero of four from three was was really blatant. Three rebounds. Uh, it wasn't a huge game for him, but obviously it's a rookie out there, man. What do you expect from him? Obviously yeah. he's playing good minutes for him, and he's been confident before. He's doing more than we've already expected for him. Uh, he's overachieving thus far. Uh, I don't, I'm not really mad at him. Yeah. I think Caruso's um, going to affect Both him. him and Duncan Robinson were just getting eaten alive out there. Duncan Robinson goes yeah. 0 for 3 from 3. I, I don't Zero expect much from Robinson, to be Four honest. Four rebounds. They were doubling. They were attacking. They were choking him. They weren't even letting yeah. him take yeah. the and shot. And to add to your point, I shot. did not feel... I didn't think the Lakers would be as aggressive as they are looking because I thought, you know, they were a little soft in the beginning of the season. But I guess some of the pieces that they add, and then you know Dwight playing the way that he is, because I feel I feel like Dwight be bullying uh, yeah, some Dwight of our players. Right there. This is what I'm doing, Dwight. Yeah, he this definitely hits factors. people, bro. They've been really gelling in the bubble. They really came into their own in the bubble. This is what I expected from the supporting cast from the beginning from the Lakers. This whole year, all of them have underachieved, achieved. But I've I've always thought they have pretty good players, to be honest. Like, there's yeah. no way why Danny Green should have been as bad as he's been. Like, no, he's a good player. Not. He ended up three of eight from three, four of nine from the field. Uh, Anthony Davis came out with 34 points, nine rebounds, five assists. LeBron near triple double, nine assists, 13 rebounds, 25 points, nine of 17 from the field. Uh, let's see, KCP three of 10 from the field. He was he made an early two three pointers that really ignited uh, the Lakers' offense. Yeah, I saw that. Kyle Kuzma one of seven. Three points, but Kuzma, oh my. Am I reading yeah. that right? Three points for Kuzma. He went one of seven. That was one three-pointer. Uh, Rajon Rondo, two of seven, had four assists. Uh, ended up with seven points. Man, this that <laughs> this Yo. box score doesn't really say what happened on the floor. They were eating us alive out there. Even Quinn Cook made a fucking hash mark Yo, three. Yo, Quinn Cook's good, man. Yo, like, Tyler and then Kuzma said fuck that narrative about Kat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they a bunch of people on Twitter tried to make it they about said, them. Well, it had we're nothing. playing this, trash. It doesn't matter. This game oh, yeah. didn't show anything. Because like. Kaya's... Kaya, Kaya is Tyler Hero's girlfriend. Oh, that's how you pronounce it? I thought it was Katia. And Kuzma's ex. Oh, how are you pronounce it? She got a fat ass, bro. Yeah, hey, Kaya yeah. is the, Tyler Hero's girlfriend and is <laughs> Kyle Kuzma's ex-girlfriend. Which, who cares? Yeah. Uh, Jake Carter was like on fire at the, at the beginning, too. He ended up 4 of 7 from 3 uh, for 12 points. Uh, ba- Tyler Hero was actually his second leading scorer. Oh, no, Kendrick Nunn was 18. And then Tyler Hero, 14. Exactly. Jimmy Butler with 23. He had 12 at the half, I think. Who, Jim? Or yeah. Nah, Jimmy no, Jimmy had, like, had 16 like, or He had 19 17. at the yeah, half. Something like that. Oh, he had 19. Because he looked like he was going to have a big night, night, to be yeah, honest. Like, no, he started off making big shots. He, was, he started off really aggressive. He, got, and I he also it. got a little hurt, I believe. I don't know where it was. Yeah, so I guess we can move on to that. He rolled his ankle before the half. Oh, yes, I did see that. He rolled his ankle. I thought it was worse than what it looked. I mean, we still got to see. but All the clips are going to be in the description if you guys want to go ahead and look at them. Uh, we had the LeBron giant dunk at the buzzer. I need that man in the dunk contest before he retires. Holy no, crap. That late, was such a light work. so athletic at 35. That was such a light work. Damn. Like, uh, Why like would it, you even go for that? It was cutting to commercial, and I'm like, <laughs> God damn. Oh, no, like, replay. I was like, <laughs> like um, I, I, that, yeah. yeah. Is someone going to talk about this? That got me so excited because I was like, wow, they're going to get a guy after the buzzer. Bro. Like, yo. Jumping like that, 35, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, we had Jay Carter holding on to LeBron James during a loose ball. Um, That was bull to me. But I'm, I'm, you're all going to say this is he bro, bias. Bro, come on. Bro, come am on. I going to be Jay happy? Jay Carter wants come all on. It's just LeBron is just too strong, so he couldn't do what they did to am this I, guy, Kevin Am Lowe. I going to be happy about 250 pounds crashing onto my leg? Am I supposed 
supposed to be gentle with him? No, get the fuck off of me. But he didn't talking? do that. He was grabbing him. Bro, he was grabbing Le- his arm. LeBron, like was- if LeBron didn't go, like if he was just if, just if he just had his arm out, like all right, look, I do think he was holding him down, but I don't think he had him in an arm. People are acting like he was trying to rip his arm off. Yeah, he does. He, he was mean, holding not, him down. I'm not saying that, but I mean, I don't think it was that dirty. Was it reckless? Maybe, but was it like is he trying no. to rip off his arm? No, he was holding him down so he couldn't go after the ball. And after that, he's still on top of me. So I'm going to get him off of me. I don't, I need, don't know. I'm not going to be gentle with LeBron James. You could have. I, I see where you're coming from, but it wasn't like. like I, I just think, watched the video. I think just, people are being way too crazy about it. But yeah. you guys be the judge. The you got to see is, how he's holding his arm. It's not that The great. clip is in the description. You guys be the judge of it. Um, AD, the very next play, LeBron be, toughs it out for a rebound. And it's over. AD steps in between LeBron and Jay Carter because Jay Carter is like staring him down. And AD is just kind of standing there like telepathically asking LeBron if he wants to handle his light work. Uh, and then LeBron's just <laughs> caving a hole into 80's chest, I guess, to hype him up. I don't know. For <laughs> real. Yeah. I well, think I was so hard. You could hear it through I the TV. I would have died, like, dog. I think, I think that would have been it for me. <laughs> like, that did look he like was hitting heart attack. really hard. Now AD's out for the next game. <laughs> it was like I, nah, I chest fu- I fuck pumping with that. his heart for him. Like, I fuck with that. That shows you the yeah. connection they have, bro. AD gets poked I in guess. the eye every game. Every single game. He needs yeah. to start wearing goggles like Kareem. That's what it feels I like, swear. for real. How many times does it actually happen? Though? Like, once or twice? Nah, he does get poked yeah, by. But it feels like it's game. every game. Well, his head's so damn low for no reason. God damn. Uh, Jimmy Butler hurts his ankle. He rolls it, like, so nasty. It's all nub on the it floor. Looked, oh, man. It yeah, looked it like looked... his leg was attached to the side of the... Sorry, his foot was attached to the side of his leg. Uh, Bam Adebayo hits uh, Dwight Howard on a, on a you know, drawing contact. I guess he didn't realize that Dwight Howard was a thousand pounds and fully reverb back like a bouncy ball from a La Granja. Uh, Dwight Howard, is a big like boy. little machine. Uh, he falls on his shoulder. He rolls around, says profanity, then instantly just jumps right back up. And it reminded me of that the Bucks game. No, sorry, the Celsius game where he was holding his hand and then. He was fine after a timeout. Yeah, didn't he re-aggravate? I think in his head he was just like, whatever. I'm just gonna compartmentalize. I'm not gonna feel the pain. And then the very next play, he's like, nah. He goes up for a rebound, and I think AD bumped his 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 shoulder, his arm, and it reignited the injury. And then they had to call the timeout and take him out. Um, he didn't come back for the rest of the night. Goran Dragic okay. secretly got injured. Um, after the halftime, he wasn't on the bench, and everybody was wondering why. Uh, turned out he suffered a plantar tear of the left foot. Uh, took him out for the rest of the game. Uh. This is me doing my Google. So sad. This is my Google and uh, doctor research. Uh, plantar tear can take you out for up to three months, and you can feel no pain after a month. So that's not good. And this man Soto saying he might come back. He uh, said they might work him to play. So he can still walk on his foot. Here we have Shams saying that diagno- that Bam Adebayo was diagnosed with a neck strain after an MRI. Uh, so he's doubtful for next game. Uh, he's out. Doubt. Yeah, doubtful. doubtful. Both of them, oh. Goran and him. Sly, yeah, his x rays came back negative. Well, Goran's probably definitely out for the next game. Greg Slagvander <laughs> said, I'm hearing Drogic is lightly done for the series, working to 100% confirmed, but not looking good from what I'm told. And Sham said, Miami. Oh, no, never mind. That's nothing. Uh, yeah, not good so far. Uh, Tyler Harrow says, uh, On Miami's catastrophic injuries, almost everything changes. Uh, because of how much Bam does for the, us offensively and defensively. Drogic's injury hurts our team a lot. It's going to hurt me. He takes some of the priorities off of me, and he makes lots of plays for us. He also said, I think the intensity was the same for the Eastern Conference Finals, but obviously we need to play harder. Every possession matters. I was happy for Kendrick Nunn. Like you said, we've been playing together since the last summer. He's been through a lot, obviously. So Ty said all that. Um, it's just it was a very gloomy end. Um, it definitely wasn't the game that nobody wanted to see. I don't even think Lakers fan wanted to win like that. Um, a lot of people are saying Lakers in four. Uh, Project never even mattered. Well, no, uh, I feel like Lakers fans that. are definitely happy right now. I'm sure. I'm happy as a Heat fan just making the finals. We should. Yeah, I'm be happy there. to be here, but I still wanted to put up a nah, fight. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna that put up a fight. Not, we're winning one or two. That yeah. wasn't a Heat game. We could have like today at work. <laughs> My my coworkers know I have a basketball podcast. So obviously, they're gonna ask me like, "Oh, did you watch the game last night?" I'm just like, "Please don't, like, don't, 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 I don't, don't want to talk about it." They and knew the guy, exactly how to the push guy your goes buttons. Like, oh, are you mad that the that the that he got mopped? And I turn around, bro. I was at my desk. I just turned around. I'm like, I'm not mad that he lost. <laughs> I'm mad that our best three players got injured. That's what I'm mad about. 
Because that's just so sad. Like, I obviously want to put up. pretty messed up. We want to put up the game we want to put up, you know? Uh, I, th- I believe Goran is the one who's going to be out. But hopefully Jimmy and Bam do play next game. And the If they series, both play, I think they have a chance. Yeah, they yeah. They have a and chance. It's, I look, I don't expect us to be a sweep because we some dogs. So it is going to be a tough. Even if, I'm be- like, like, I, like I said, bro, the biggest thing was shooting. The Lakers just shot the ball so well. Not gonna happen every game. It's gonna be a dog fight. So don't you know? Tyler's making a game one. Game one is just adjustments and all that. But we'll see how game two. Game yeah. two is gonna. We really gonna decide what. You know, yeah, I think you're right. If the Lakers play like that every night, they're the best team of all time, bro. Like that was they played out of their minds that first half, first three quarters, and I'm if they would have continued playing AD and, and LeBron at the same time, that would have been that might have been the biggest blowout in NBA history. Like they were playing out of their minds, all of them together. They were so good. If they keep doing that, then of course it's going to be a sweep. But yes. for them to keep putting up that performance, I'm doubtful. Uh, but no, as a Miami Heat fan, I'm so happy. For the last decade, we've made the finals five times. It's only been the Cavs, the the Raptors, and the Warriors, and the Heat have been in the finals the past ten years. One of either one. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. But out of the East in the past decade, it's only been the Heat, the War. Sorry, the Heat, the Cavs, and the then the Raptors. The whole last decade, that's the only people from the East that have been in the finals, which makes me so proud. Spo is so honestly. dominant. Spo is amazing. Lakers are 54-0 and when leading at the end of the third quarter. Uh, pretty hard comeback. We Damn, did, you we said did what? Say that's that again? 54-0 and when leading at the end Sheesh. of the third quarter. Sheesh. Uh, them boys do not play, huh? Closing that out. 49-8 and leading at halftime. 46-9 and after the first quarter. 8-19 and after trailing in the third quarter. 13-13 and in halftime. And 17 and 13 of trailing after their first quarter. It looks like a lot of their games are made in the ha- in the second half, and a lot of the games mm-hmm. are lost in the second half for the Heat. So we have to be on the whole game. It's going to be hard for us. I'm pretty sure I saw um, Jimmy Butler say, "Look, we can do it. We can win. Of course, we know we can win. But we got to play perfect." And it's mm-hmm. true. The Heat are not the team to beat. It's obviously the Lakers. But yeah, they need a lot to go there in their favor. Like they, like he said, they got to be almost perfect. Like players got to hit their shots. It looked like it was going to be that at the beginning of the game. Like, yeah, it was looking like one of those games where it's just like nothing the Lakers could do. Like they were just hitting shots. Jay Crowder was hitting shots. Everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what to say, man. Well, hopefully game two, you know, is completely opposite. We're the ones whooping that ass. One game can change a lot. Like now everything looks you know terrible which it is like but if the heat win one game all of a sudden it's like the pressure on the lakers so yeah it's all about like momentum the heat get one game absolutely you never know what can happen like now we're blessed um i think it was eight out of 24 espn analysts had the heat all of them in six or seven but they all had the heat eight of them i feel like a lot of people were rooting for the heat whether it was because they they just like going for the dog or whether they actually thought we had a chance I don't care. Or they hate LeBron. <laughs> or yeah, that, it's weird. Those people are always weird. I only, I find like I, I only ever see those people on How Twitter. How can you hate greatness? And, That's true. Instagram. It. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how people can hate LeBron, but those people definitely exist. They're gonna miss. Uh, if you guys didn't see LeBron towards the end of the game when we cut the lead down to thirteen and four minutes left, where I was just like, hmm, Stranger Things has happened. But uh, he was actually really uh, like angry at his teammates. He was holding a lot of them accountable for the dumb mistakes they were making, even though they were, they were up and the game was basically over. Uh, in the post in the post game interview, he said that uh, he was focused on closing out Game One versus the Heat because of memories blown in the 2011 Finals Game Two to the Mavericks. And I was thinking about the same thing that when should... I saw the score. I was thinking about the same thing. Not that I thought it was gonna happen, but it he must me have nightmares. Thing. He said that shit burns me to this day. I'm sure he did not want to. Can you imagine losing a 32 Dude, point lead that would be after crazy. three of our players were injured? So Kendrick Nunn. <laughs> and Kelly Olenek Kelly Olenek got like four assists in that halftime <clears throat> he only made one shot but he got like four, maybe they should have played four quick assists I think we're going to see a lot of Kelly and Kendrick Nunn because they definitely proved themselves to get minutes uh, I think that's going to be curtains for uh, Duncan Robinson uh, as a starter because is it just me or specialists don't matter as much like in the finals they they don't have like a big effect start, or the playoffs too like i feel like they get neutralized i mean i feel like we always start duncan robinson to see if he makes his first two because if he makes the first two he's going to be good for five five of the next yeah. ten uh 
He's but actually done pretty good in the playoffs, though, right? Like, he's done he's decent. Done, yeah, he has done. Great. Uh, he didn't do great against the Celtics. He's been like diminishing, like diminishing returns. But I he's guess. had some games. I mean, um, he played like thirty minutes this game and didn't make a single bucket. He's nervous playing against LeBron. But they're no, they're that's choking like, him. That's though. his idol. They're choking him. That's what they and do. And they're targeting they do. With him. Specialists like that, three point shooters, they just neutralize them. Yeah, they were choke, like, They were choking him on his shot, and every single time on that zone at the top of the key, whether it was Tyler Hero or Duncan Robinson, LeBron looked him in the eye and said, "Wow, <laughs> you're gonna eat this shoulder in a second. And he went straight to the hoop every time. And after Bam out was gone, and all we had down there was Solomon Hill, who Solomon. doesn't know how to get a haircut, and Kelly Olynyk, an Indian sniper. Yes, sir. Couldn't get a bucket um, either. But the Heat are different. It feels like they're different. When Duncan Robinson's making shots, it feels like it's over. Oh yeah. Like it's a lot he's of points. Such a yeah. threat when he's there. It makes five threes. Like when he's hot. Like- it's like, damn, points. that's when they're points, at the best. Yeah, he scored 30 in a game before, just off a three-pointer. He's like, come on. This is awesome. Uh, but yeah, like I said earlier, Bam and Goran are doubtful for game two. Uh, Tim Reynolds said that Goran Dragic is still fighting to play tomorrow. The neck injury from Bam is a most complex new wrinkle. Uh, neck injury is pretty serious. I don't think they want to play with that. I don't see him playing. Uh, the Lakers are also going to be wearing their Black Mamba jerseys for Game 2 and Game 7. That's very scary because I think they're undefeated wearing those jerseys. Yeah, I saw AD saying that if we lose in those jerseys, mm-hmm. we're disappointing him, Kobe, he's talking about. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Appreciate you guys coming out here. I know it's pretty depressing as a Heat fan. Uh, try to keep their spirits up, but it's pretty tough right now. I'm missing our yeah. three of my favorite players out here. But, you know, no, no hope lost. It's only one game. Only one game. We'll yeah. be back here Hopefully Bam in a couple and, uh, days when Jimmy. it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. And the, honestly, the most important thing is, like, not only is the series not over, but the Heat are looking pretty good. Like, their future, just yeah, in general. Yeah, exactly. Like, just making the a, finals? Yeah, there's a lot to be. This is not just, like, maybe it is a one-time thing, but, like, that's worst-case scenario. I like, think the Heat land, can get back. This has to land us someone, right? Yeah. This made us that's a what I'm very saying. tropical. I've been saying this this whole time. I didn't even know they would make it to the finals, but... Trust from me, the buddy. start, neither did I. From the no start, I was like, the Heat are gonna end up with someone, and now making the finals, like for sure, you guys we're are gonna definitely get someone. attracting free agents. Easy, yeah. Easy. I think I think are very. I don't know who. I don't know how. Like, if it's gonna be a trade or like a free agent. I don't know. Giannis, we're waiting for you. I think we looking real sexy right now. I think so. Somebody, some Bucks fan on Reddit was like, I mean, after this loss, you know, maybe Giannis doesn't look at the Heat so attractively anymore, and I'm just like, all right, buddy, like. Relax. Cause We're going to have so many Buck fans burning his jersey. You think so? But I'm yeah. conflicted. Like, Maybe. They Because he's talking they his would, shit. They would hate he used to shut up. Like, he keeps saying, oh, I'm staying here for the rest of my life. I'm raising my kids here. Like, I'm conflicted because he lost to the Bucks, but it wouldn't look so bad Like lost if the they heat. heat lose to the Lakers like badly and if he gets on the Heat. He would be like the last piece, like the missing piece. I don't piece. think that matters as much as people are saying that. No, nah, yeah, it definitely it matters. Matter either. That, what, like, that like, what doesn't matter? It's not like the Heat were... The most winningest team of all time. But they beat him nasty. And he didn't even perform well. So it would look like the KD thing. I don't think so. No, KD went to... It's going to be like Ray Allen. Oh, yeah, KD went a to a championship. 73-9 and right. team. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be like Ray Allen. Everyone's like... Ray Ooh, Allen, come on. Unanimous. No, come on. Giannis <laughs> is an MVP. MVP. Everyone's just like, damn, Ray. Okay. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm conflicted. I don't know. I don't know. That's all that was. But all right, guys. Again, appreciate you guys coming out here. Uh, thank you, Samir. Thank you, Camilo. Thank you. Guys you have an amazing Shazer. day. For sure, for sure. It's a tough road to get here. But uh see you guys on Mon no Tuesday because we're in court on Monday because the game is on Sunday. Yep. Let's go heat. Let's go heat. Peace go out. Warriors. Yup. Wow. Warriors.